guys, how's it going? Today we're learning that cover of the song Mood by 24K Golden that just played for you. I'm excited to teach you this one because it's such a fun song to play and to this day might actually be my favorite of all the fingerstyle tutorials we've done so far. Of course, like always, you can find the tabs on my Patreon in the description below. By the way, I'm giving away a guitar to one of my patrons once we hit 100 patrons. I just want to let you know that today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an awesome website for anyone who loves learning new things online. It's full of all kinds of inspiring classes for a variety of different creative topics like illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, music production, and many more. And of course, there are loads of classes to teach you guitar. Millions of people are already using Skillshare and learning new skills, and you could join that community for less than $10 a month for the annual subscription. It's a really great way to progress on guitar because like YouTube, there are lots of skilled, experienced guitar teachers on there, except they filter out all the bad lessons and each of these teachers have made designated courses for you in order so you're not scrolling and searching all over the place for good content. I've actually got a few courses on there as well. It's also cool because you join to learn guitar, but once you subscribe, you've got access to everything, so you might find yourself learning completely different, unique skills to show off to people. I'm glad Skillshare reached out to me because honestly, I'm a big fan of the platform and that means I get to promote them with an offer that benefits you guys. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description are going to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So take advantage of that before it runs out. With that being said, let's get into the song. Okay, so starting with the intro, just a quick note, I'm going to be saying all my frets relative to the capo, which is on the first fret. So I'm going to call this fret one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And let's get into it. First chord, we're going to put our first finger on A5 and our second finger on B5. And then pinky on B7 there. And you're just going to be playing the these two strings, A and B. And then you're going to play the chord twice. Then take that pinky off. And put it back on and do a really quick slide up to the 9th and 10th fret. And then play that chord again. And then you add in that slap. And that's the first bar there. And moving on to the second bar, we're we'll gonna put our first finger on the 5th fret of the first two strings. And then third finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string. Then put the pinky on the first string and then slide up to the ninth fret. And then grab first finger on A7 and third finger on G9, pinky on B9. Play that chord twice and then a slap. So those first two bars. And then all you're going to do for the intro is repeat that once more, except at the end, you're not going to slap. So the whole intro. And that's the intro there. Okay, now we're going to lead into our favorite part, which is this chorus part. This one's actually really fun to play. This is the best part of the whole song. So we're going to do this cool slidey part. And that's going to be at the end of the intro. First finger, G2, play it. Slide up to the sixth. Slide down to the fourth. Slide back down to the second. And we're gonna play this one a lot in this song so we get used to that riff. It's really fun once you get it a little faster. So the main chorus riff is gonna sound like this. And 
we're just going to repeat this riff a whole bunch of times in the chorus, and it's a super catchy one, and once you get it up to speed, it's going to be really fun to play. Okay, so we're starting in with that lead and riff. The fun slidey one. And then you're going to grab G2 with the first finger, D4 with the third finger, and then with that pinky, a stretch onto that fifth fret there. Don't worry if it's a stretch, you'll get it over time. Just take some time to stretch out those fingers there. So then you're going to play that chord with, on the right hand, all four of these middle strings, and there's your chord. Okay, so you're playing that chord, and then we're doing just alternation between the third and fourth strings, and try and listen and see if you can hear what it sounds like. That's going to be the easiest way to get it. So we're doing third, then fourth, and then twice on the third, then twice on the third, and then back and forth. And then you're ending that with a hammer on to the 4th fret on the 3rd string there. So that bar is... So far in the chorus we've got this. That's that bar. That, those alternations are a bit tricky to pay attention to. It'll make it a lot easier if you look at the tab for these. Um, and otherwise, you can just kind of work on that and listen to what I'm playing. Okay, moving into the next bar, it's going to sound like this. Much easier here. Okay, so we're going to be coming in. you got your first finger on D2. Then you're going to play fourth and fifth strings. And play that three more. And second finger on B2. And end with the chord. This is actually an E chord, but you can just play first finger on G1, second finger on D2, and play sixth string, and then play the E, D, G, and B strings. So that whole bar. And if you put that together, we've got the entire chorus. And you just repeat it. And that right there is the entire chorus. Now, if you're trying to play this at my speed, this is the part that's going to give you the most difficulty because this is actually a pretty fast part. So just start slow, really get it down, and then gradually build up your speed. Ideally, with the metronome, that's going to be the fastest way to see speed increases. But you also don't have to play it as fast as I do. You can pick your own speed. It's usually better to play it a little slower and have it be cleaner than try and play it too fast where it's just sloppy and you're not hitting any of the notes right.
try and work on this one. Practice it slowly. Start it until you get it, get it comfortably. And then you do want to try and work up your speed because it is actually a lot of fun to try and play it fast. But again, pay attention to playing clean and there's no need to kill yourself. But the faster you get it, the more fun this one's going to be to play. And now moving to the verse, it's going to sound like this. So for this, we just got two bars that are going to repeat, and the first bar is going to sound like this. It's a lot of just B2 here. You're going to start and play that twice. And then play it a third time, but also with the fourth string. And then do a pull-off to the B0, and then same second finger on G2. Then you're going to go back up, this time third finger on the B2, and then play that three times. And then throw the second finger up on E2. Play these two at the same time, pull off to B0, and then play it again. And then put it back on and play it three times. And that's the whole bar. So. And then we're going to move into the second bar, and you're going to grab an A chord, and you're going to play all of these four middle strings, 5, 4, 3, 2, or A, D, G, B. And then do another pull off with this third finger that's going to be a little bit tricky. And then play G2. Then, keeping everything where it is, throw that third finger back on B2, play that three times. And slide this first finger up to G1 for a slightly different chord, and play these same four strings again, and again pull off. So that bar... Then you put that together and you've got the verse. So there's the full verse and you're just going to play that twice. Alright, now moving into the pre-chorus. This one's the smoothest part of the whole song, so you want to play this nice and legato or smoothly. Let everything ring out as much as possible so you can get a nice, crispy, smooth tone. So pretty simple as a whole, but playing something simple nicely is another skill in itself. So, start off second finger on G2, then play open D and B, then second finger on B2, and play those two strings again, and down to G. Then you can take everything off and put that first finger on E2 or your thumb. Some people like the thumb. I know Mitch really likes the thumb. I've never had great thumb flexibility, so I tend to just play everything without it. But some of you will find that easier. Um, but that's personal preference. So I play it first finger on E2 and then play open E and B strings. Then throw that third finger down. So... B3, G2, and then take off this B3, and then play these four strings, open. So pre-chorus up to that.
And then continuing on, you're gonna go third finger on B3, B2, sorry, then G2, and then switch this around, play your E chord from before, just without our full E chord, and then play E, D, G, and B strings. And then put that third finger on G2, and then alternate G and E. So then you put that all together and your pre-chorus sounds like this. And that's all there is to it. Then we're gonna pop right back into that awesome chorus. And you play that full chorus again. And right there we are a good chunk of the way through the song. Alright, let's move into the final part of the song that we need to learn to play the whole thing, and this is the second verse. So we're changing things up here from the first verse, and this is actually a really nice, smooth sounding part that I think you'll also love playing. Okay, so we're starting off, first finger on B2, and then you're going to play A and B strings. And then hammer onto the third fret, and play open A, D, and E. So, then do this hammer on again, and slide down so that you've got G2, B2, and then E0. So, and then this time, do that hammer on again, but go from your second finger to your third finger, and then throw that first finger on E2 and play the open, both open, or both E strings. So that part up to now. Then we're going to do most of the same thing again, just with some slight variations to keep it spicy. So we're going to do B2, second finger, and A0. Hammer on, then D0, G2, B2, E0, then hammer on again, and this time only play the top three strings, and hammer on again, and switch to our E chord. So what we've got up to now for this verse sounds like this. Then moving on, we've got the second half of this verse, which might be the coolest part of this whole song, actually. We've got this cool little downward run we're going on. Alright, so we're going to start with a pull-off. And then play D and E open. Then a pull-off second to first finger to open. So. And then first finger on G2, third finger on D4. Then throw that first finger over to E2. And do a little hammer on pull off action there. So that little run is... Then
then do that a second time. And that right there is the verse. You're gonna get one little slap to transition into the pre-chorus. You're gonna play that pre-chorus and then the chorus and that's gonna end off the song. So just one more time for you, this full verse now sounds like this. And that's the whole verse. And with those parts, you can play the entire song. So the song structure for this one, you can see it pretty clearly in the tab, but for the song structure is gonna be intro, chorus, verse one, pre-chorus, chorus, verse two, pre-chorus, and then end on a chorus. So put those ones together, practice all your parts. This one's really fun to play and shouldn't take you too long to get up to speed. Try and practice it a while, get it clean, and this one will be a lot of fun.